Greetings friends, welcome to A Shot of Code. Today we're going to create a web component using React. Now before we jump in, if you find yourself enjoying the video, feel free to click that subscribe button below. And one other point to note is um, the size of the file created um, by one of these is quite big because it contains React. So there's only going to be specific scenarios where you're really going to use this. Um, if you really want to make components, then probably creating it with Preact uh, might be the way to go. And I've got a video for that here. Um, but it is uh, interesting, so carry on if you want to see how to do it anyway. Okay, so I've got Visual Studio Code here. Let's start and I'll create a, uh, an initial file here called my component. JS, uh, and we'll also create a a file uh, index.html, and we'll just put some boilerplate code in here. Uh, import our script, which is my component, and initially what we'll do is we're just going to create a very simple counter component. And we'll use it as a, a React component to start with before converting it to a web component. Um, so uh, because of that, we'll just have a div here that we can render it into. All right, so back to our component here. What I'm gonna do is kick off parcel, which will just do our imports and it'll do our compilation for the JSX for us. So I can import React from React and I can import React DOM uh, from React DOM and then we can create our component. So we're going to have a my counter component here which will extend uh, react.component like so. Uh, we're going to need a constructor and we're going to have some state. So we'll have this dot state is an object. So we just, as a counter, we're just going to have a count object in here. Then we're going to simply render this out. Now, what will we have? Let's just have a little header to start with, saying React counter. And then we can have a couple of buttons, one for up. And one for down there, and then let's put out our counter. So that'll be this dot state dot count. And then if I just make this a bit smaller here, and get rid of that for now. Can I make it a bit bigger? Just about. Then we just need to do rat dom dot render and say that we want to render my counter. And we want to render it into that app element on the page that we created a second ago. Okay, so it's installing our files for us. We look in package.json. Uh, Parcel has installed those two for us. I can close that one back off. And hopefully that will give us something to see there straight away. If I bring this page up like that and go to the four. Okay, so we're getting our React counter, our two buttons and the current value. Uh, obviously they don't do anything at the moment. So let's just hook those up. So let's have an on click and we'll say that we'll call a function um, ink like so, and we'll do similar on this one, on click equals this dot deck. Okay, and I'll create those two, uh, those two methods. So we've got an increment method, and in there we want to do a this dot set state, and we can get the previous value passed in, and then I'm going to want to return a new object um, with the count value set to prev plus one. And 
and let's do exactly the same. I'm going to make this smaller so we can see it all. And we'll call that deck and save that off. And then didn't quite work. Uh, ba, 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 setting a state to an object count previous pre, uh, previous dot count like so okay and that's going down is going yes down is obviously needs to be minus one and okay so that is our little basic counter, and that at the moment is just a normal React component. Now, how do we convert it into a web component? What we can do is import a, another package um, and import the React.2, uh, React2 web component, and that is from the package React2 web component uh, that is going to wrap this for us so what we need to do is rather than do the render down here as we've got at the moment we can now go back to calling custom elements dot define so this is like the normal uh, process for custom elements and we'll make our uh, element my counter and in there we can then call this react to web component and pass in our component, so my counter, and we need to pass in um, React and React DOM as well. But with that in place, we should now have it as a component. So at the moment, when I save off, we're not seeing anything here. That is because we were rendering it into here. But now we can just do my counter and save that off, and we are back. And if we look in um, the elements here, we will see one thing is there's our custom element, my counter. One thing to note with this one at the moment, it doesn't put it into the shadow DOM. Whether that'll be an option in the future, I'm not sure, but at the moment it's just there in plain HTML. Uh, but it is a custom element there for us, and we can now use this elsewhere. Um, one thing to note is let's try and use the normal properties. So if we say, uh, give it a name in there and then try to view that name so let's do react counter and do this dot props dot name that you'd expect this to normally work but we're not getting that at the moment so there's an extra step we need here for that we need to bring in um, prop types from prop types we save that off and pass we'll bring it in and then we need to say my counter dot prop types and give that an object and then define our properties here that we're going to use so we need to say prop types dot string now that should set it up for us and when I save it you can see our property is now getting set in there you know, if I update this, you can see that coming in. So an extra step there to get properties and attributes to work uh, on your web component. But the main thing is to use this reactor web component to, to wrap it. And then you can pass that wrapped object into the normal um, custom elements dot define call. Um, and there you go. Now, I did mention at the start of the video that it's quite big, the size of this. Um, I can show what we what we do have. If I do a parcel build for production of my um, component, uh, we can see we've got 132k here. You know, we can gzip that, and it'll go down to about 40k. But that's still huge if you've just created a little. I don't know, a calendar or a button or whatever component you've created, that's too much. Um, so 
yeah, I'm not I'm not quite sure. It needs to be smaller, really. And like I say, if you if you're into React and pre, um, you could use Preact to create smaller web components. And I've got that video linked earlier. Uh, but there you go, um, creating a web component in React. You can do it. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, thumbs down if not, and uh, feel free to subscribe as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.